Hi friends. So I was thinking about these videos that I make every week. You know, I started back in March of 2020 as a way to be able to reach the families of our church, to be able to reach the children that we could not see in person, to share some stories with them. And of course we are now two years later still making these. And I was wondering, is anybody watching these other than my own mother? <laughs> But you know, I was thinking the whole point of this is not me making videos because I have it all figured out and I know what to share. It's not because I know these things and so I can come and teach you how to live a life of faith where you will never doubt, where you will be spared that pain, where you will be able to live a life filled with love of God forever. Of course, I can't guarantee that. But I do have some ideas, some, some examples, some ways in which we can live out our faith in a way that is real and joyful, sometimes messy, but that is full of grace and gratitude for this life we've been given. And again, it's not because I have it figured out. It's not because I know how to do it and I'm teaching you. We are certainly walking this together. Pastor Joel and I were talking about a music group for children called Butterfly Fish. Um, we're not sure if they're still together anymore. It was a smaller known group, but they have this beautiful song called You Be You. And in it are the words, you don't have to believe, you don't have to doubt, you don't have to run around and figure it all out. You don't have to do what people say that you should, you just have to be who God made you, because God made you good. You don't have to believe. You don't have to doubt. You just have to be who God created you to be. And I think being able to recognize that you don't have to know everything. You don't have to take everything in and make this decision and say, yes, this is exactly what I believe that God is meeting you where you are and loving you unconditionally no matter what. I think that can be just such an incredible amount of hope for us. Pastor Meredith Ann Miller shared this prayer this week that I thought was just so beautiful for those of us who have moments or maybe years or long periods of doubt or wondering. May the Jesus who offered his hands to Thomas find you exactly where you are. May the Holy Spirit enable you as you are found to receive the gift of God's own presence in that place. And may God whisper to you, you don't need to move until you're ready. I can wait with you here. I hope, if nothing else, over the last two years that you have heard about a God that loves you just as you are, no matter what. There is nothing that you need to do to make God love you, and there is absolutely nothing in this world that you can do that would make God stop loving you. I think Jesus really cares about you. I think God really, really loves you. And I think God will find us right where we are, no matter where we are, no matter how we are, what we believe, how we are feeling. And I think that when our God meets us, our God has open arms and says, come here, my child, because that love, that acceptance, that forgiveness, that grace is poured out for all of us, no matter what. I believe in that hope. I believe in that love. Take that with you this week. Bye, friends.